Welcome to Second City News. I'm Ophélie Maraval. The problem of car cruising is happening a lot nowadays. It is a type of motor racing in which cars or motorbikes compete, usually two at a time to be first to cross a set finish line on the city roads. To reduce such illegal activities, there's a new High Court ruling forbidding car cruising in Birmingham. Manas Duru reports. The High Court forbids any person from taking part, organizing or promoting street cruising in Birmingham. From today, an injunction is in place to stop anyone gathering to race or perform stunts in cars, motorbikes or squad bikes on the streets of Birmingham. Offenders risk being arrested. If caught, participants can expect driving vans and fines up to £5,000 and can have their vehicle seized and crashed. Adults breaching the High Court injunction can face up to two years imprisonment and youth can be fined and have their assets seized for contempt of court. Pamela Thomas, who is a law lecturer at Birmingham City University, will tell us more about this law. High Court injunctions police, then it can also uh, ensure that their vehicles are seized um, and crushed. So um, it usually results in an instant cessation of the of the behaviour, um, which means that normal everyday people can go about their journeys without being uh, facing intimidation or without uh, being put in danger. Okay, and even for the car cruisers themselves, you know, they're even being protected. The new power means not only the drivers will face the prosecution, but also the people who are attending the car cruising, which sometimes involve hundreds of people as spectators. In recent years, Birmingham has undergone major redevelopments. With successful projects such as New Street Station, we've seen large numbers of people moving to the city with increased property investment and development on the rise. While plans for conventional buildings are underway, occasionally there are alternative proposals too, as Dominika Siskova reports. This is Hauker Yard, an alternative property that is adjustable. A place where street food meets creative architecture can be reassembled, rearranged and used over and over again. How Yard designer Duncan Stanley became inspired in Budapest and brought this idea to Birmingham. It looks temporary, but it could stay here for a long time. What we hope is that it will be very, very successful and then we can upgrade as we go. So where you see we're sitting inside a scaffold structure in the middle of it all, we hope to extend this across over to those containers so that things are more covered. And then as we become busier and more popular, we can add more containers, we can go on top of these, we can start to build up in a more serious way. But like most things um, at our level, we sort of grow as we can and we grow as our customer base grows. The sense of community is quite strong in Hauker Yard. The site offers a space to small street food businesses and gives them an opportunity to establish themselves and grow. It's almost as close as you can get to a restaurant without having all the difficulties of owning a restaurant. While some of the contemporary structures and buildings may last the course of time, some of them may not. A structure like Hauker Yard is reusable and can ensure that the investment well pays off. A local, shop in Acres, sorry, a local shop in Acres Green has caused controversy with its unusual extension. Christopher Mace visited the site. This is the Bywise supermarket, complete with its new extension. Some local residents and businesses are describing the extension as an eyesore. They are concerned about the effect that it will have on the local area. To be fair, I thought they'd already get more because they've closed down because that's what it looks like. We made several complaints to the council who weren't interested at all. They came out on several occasions and just sort of did absolutely nothing. But it looks hideous. It's an extension that's had no planning permission, this much I know. Um, they say they're going to do something about it, but I don't know whether they will. Local councillor John O'Shea is keen to show residents that the problem is being taken seriously. Quite a decent sized local business and I'm happy to have them trade there and carry on trading there. 
but not to the detriment of other businesses locally. Oh, it's, it's clearly very untidy. It's, it's a bit of an eyesore for the, for the neighbourhood, so I'm not a, a big fan of it. Uh, but there's a possibility it may just be unfortunately legal to do. It's coming with planning, and it, it, they, they have the power to deal with it. Um, I'm, I'm not aware of any, any other department having relevant powers to deal with it, uh, but it'd be a planning matter. Christopher Mace, Second City News. On Tuesday, Peter Alexander, sorry, on Tuesday, Peter Andre visited W.H. Smith in Birmingham. He was there for the launch of his new book, Between Us. Hundreds of fans waited for hours to get a copy signed by him. Sida Kumar reports. I am at Union Passage in front of W.H. Smith. Peter Andre, songwriter, author and businessman, is here to sign his new book Between Us for his fans. Yeah, because he's got, he's got him higher. Uh, so, uh, how was it? Like, fine, fine. Did you see him? Uh, did yeah, he signed and I told him that I met him before. Uh, can you show the sign? Yeah. Oh, that's good. So, it was a nice experience? Yeah, lovely. Thank you very much. Thank you. <laughs> the queue you can see behind me has gathered to get their book signed by Peter Andre. Yes, he is inside the store and signing his new book between us for his fans. Peter Andre! Hey. Peter Andre is wonderful. Can't wait to meet him. I love him. <laughs> Can't wait to meet him. Sidar Kumar reporting. Finally, the weather. It's going to, be, to continue being overcast with top temperatures of 13. The weekend should remain dry with some sunny spells and no rain. That is for Second News. Have a good weekend.